again, it's a car video because I mean, <laughs> I have no time. Like I, I moved my seat back though. Cause I felt, um, kind of smushed previously. Uh, it, it's, it is so hard. Uh, you know, obviously I want to be consistent and I want to create content and there's a bunch of things that I want to talk about, but at the same time, it's just, um, you know, it's not a family vlog. It's not my husband wants, like he won't even take professional family photos. Like that is just not his thing. Uh, being on camera, having your picture taken, that whole deal. Social media, he has no social media. It's just not his jam, which is fine. But, you know, obviously I can't film him then. He doesn't want to be a part of this. So there's that going on. I have to do my uh, AI in the classroom uh, presentation. I'm, I get, well, my district really frustrates me because sometimes they ask you, would you be willing to do something? And then you say like, yes. Um, but then the directions after that are kind of ambiguous. So I think I might be presenting a workshop on a staff development day district wide. Can't say for sure. Don't know. Haven't been given like the times, like how long the presentation should be. Uh, I know the subject matter because that's anyway. So <laughs> the the whole idea of like AI in the classroom, I'm, I'm all for it. I am an AI fan. I'm a digital fan. I'm a phone fan. I'm a technology fan. And I think that there are very responsible ways to use AI in the classroom as a learning tool. And I just feel like if you ban it and ignore it and say like, no, it doesn't exist. We can't use it here. It's, it's um, you know, it's not going away. So you might as well teach this is what it is. These, it has limitations. Like this is what it is. It has limitations. This is what you can do with it. This is why you can't submit work that you've written here. Um, as a, like, I like to show the kids, like this is what you turned in in the beginning of the year. This is what you tried to turn in and claim was your own unique research and clearly wasn't. Can you not, like anybody can see the difference. And do you understand why it just makes you look bad when you try to turn this in? Um, but for revision purposes, um, I think that I think that there's value to it. And I think it's also an equity issue because if we ban it on the kids, we're a one to one school district. So if we ban it on the kids school devices um, and some kids have cell phones and some kids don't, they're still able to get that on a cell phone why does this kid have access to it and this kid doesn't that's you know so you know that's anyway doing a whole thing about how to use it what it is how you can use it as a teacher how you can use it with your students uh what what it can do so i should be working on that maybe but i feel like until they give me the official like this is how long your presentation should be and this is how many people are coming and all this other stuff i feel kind of like I'm just spinning my own wheels. And then um, for my lecture on Monday, I want to revamp that. Again, a district thing. There's someone coming from the district uh, at our school site that's going to be visiting that just doesn't, just plain doesn't like me. Just, we have, we have different, we have differences. And uh, if that person is going to be touring my classroom, then I want to make sure that everything looks pretty good. Like I'm really confident in what I do, maybe a little bit overly confident in what I do, but I just want to make sure that my resources are up to, I'm doing a thing on Edgar Allan Poe, Halloween, Edgar Allan Poe, you know? And so I just, I want to kind of revamp my slideshow and my kids had an essay to turn in. They had an argumentative essay that was due yesterday. And I told, I gave them class time to work on it so that I could walk the room and help them out. And there were some kids that just wasted that time. And this as a teacher is so frustrating because 
you give it to him as homework and you got your sports kids that are out until all hours of the night and you don't want to keep those kids up any longer than they have to be. So you give them class time, but then you have these, this group of kids that just, they do nothing and you can stand over them and everyone says like, it's the teacher's fault or, and you stand over them and you're like, get to work, get to work. Um, but I can't babysit them a hundred percent of the time because there are kids that genuinely are working that need my help. And you've crammed like 38 of them into my classroom. And so I have to give my time to those kids. And then these kids are over here goofing off and, and playing around. And like, where, where do you find that balance? Uh, and I know just as a parent, homework can be stressful because as a parent, then you take on that responsibility of saying like, is your homework done? Is your homework done? Is your homework done? Uh, so I try to give as little homework as possible. So or I give the option. I'll be like, look, you can work on it in class. Um, or you can work on it at home, but I just want to say that I've given you the opportunity to ask me questions. But of course, last night when this thing was due at 1130, because the kids begged me, they're like, please don't make it due during class time. Make it due later. When it was due at 1130, um, you have kids that are sending me reminds like, oh my goodness, can you help me? No, 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 no. Like, if you're going to wait till 1130 to turn this in, then you are on your own. I'm not staying awake until 1130 when I was with you all those days in class that you could have asked your questions. So, no. No. <laughs> and they get really upset. Oh, my teacher did it. Yep, it's always the teacher's fault. It's either the teacher's fault or the parent's fault. You know, like, they just... I would love to have a kid be like, you know what? I really wasted class time. I did not do this to the best of my ability. Um and just take responsibility, but you know, dreams and all. So, uh, I just decided that you could follow me around for the day cause it's a crazy day. We're all getting over being sick. And, um, I just wanted to explain, uh, the bag of the day, this is hanging open, but the bag of the day is my trusty, uh, belt bag, Louis Vuitton bum bag. But the new one, the, is it called the Teddy? I think it's called the Teddy. The Teddy bum bag was available and I will show you a picture of it somewhere. I'm going to, I'm going to claim it's like up here, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, it was available on the Louis Vuitton website for almost 24 hours. Now, first of all, this bag retails for 40, 4,000, 4,200 bucks. So $4,200, um, which I, I mean, luxury and inflation and, you know, mini pochettes are now up to what, eight, 800 and some, if it's, if it's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. So I'm not going to say anything negative about the price. What I am going to say is that I did not order it. Uh, was price a factor in that? Yes, but maybe not for the reason that you think. Had this been this, because oh, the Teddy one is the, the ski collection, Teddy, whatever you want to call it, is the same size and same design as this bum bag, the original bum bag, uh, which I love. I think that this is such a great size. So for a busy day like today, I, I was going to say I have extra batteries or something, but I don't. I have actually really have nothing in here. Of I've got one wet wipe and makeup and, you know. I don't really have a whole lot of stuff. I've got, oh, look, I've got a dum dum. A bunch of lollipops. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, it's, it's the same size, same shape as that one. The reason why I didn't find it practical for everyday use, one, it's the, like, is it Sherpa? Like, that, um shearling fuzzy kind of material which to me I mean it's called the ski collection to me just screams winter that to me is not a summer bag like I am not going to carry that bag to the pool in the summer <laughs> to the beach like no no it is not a year-round bag and I live in southern California so it's almost November and I'm not wearing a coat I've you know, I have long sleeves on, but I'm not wearing a coat. And so it's, to me, not really a full year-round bag. So I can only use that bag. 
uh, I did realize that my hands are really dry now, but I did, um, I, to me in Southern California, it's not a year round bag. I don't think it's a year round bag anywhere. I can't imagine carrying that in the summer months. Uh, it just doesn't like, I've got my shorts on, I've got my tank tuck, I've got my little tiny fuzzy bag <laughs> that, you know, okay. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that it's also, it's white or cream, but it's definitely light. It is going to get stains. It's like a white carpet, right? It is going to pick up all kinds of stains. Now, do I think that maybe some Tide stain stick might work on that because it is kind of like a white carpet? Maybe, but am I willing to take that chance? I just feel like it's gonna look, I mean, this one looks pretty bad. No, I mean, it's not, I don't know. I love this bag. I think this bag is great, but it probably, it has stains on it for sure, right? It has marks and stains all over it and in the front, right? But I just feel like that bag, this bag is seven years old and I have a bag that's over 20 years old. That particular bag is just, I don't feel like it's going to make that, I don't think it's going to hit the 10 year mark and be looking usable anymore. I just feel like it's going to age extremely badly. Um, and I can't say that I have any proof to that. It's just my opinion that that bag is going to age badly. I also feel like that type of material that shearling, I don't even know what it's, I wish I knew what it was called, uh, shearlingy stuff because if, oh, if you make a mistake calling something that it's not called or mispronouncing something on YouTube, people will call you out on it. So I, I am expecting people to call me out on the fact that I don't know what that material is called. But I provided a picture, and you can go online and see it. Um, but I do feel like that material does kind of come in and out of style a little bit. There's a reason they don't come out with bags in that style every single winter. And there's a reason why they come out with those bags in winter and not summer, right? So I skipped on that bag. I just was like, mm, you can get the new high-rise bum bag for about half the price why would I, why, why would I get that? Now, the interesting thing is it is sold out a majority of the time. So, oh, is this person going to hit me? Cause that's really scary. I have a car coming in right next to me. A uh, majority of the time that bag is sold out. So again, keep that in mind. Um, but I chose to pass on that bag. and you might want it you can take it home with you you got to get it framed uh, you know it's probably a standard frame size I don't know anyway there's that these are photocopies I sold these this was sold at the pagoda in Reading they had a, an art show and they wanted some art to, to sell and so I made photocopies of it before I uh, gave them to them so this one here looks very much like that picture that's unknown or...